Hello everyone, welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Terrapin Conglomerate. And we have discovered our first neighbors, the Nurian High Kingdom. They are not going to like us very much. They are evangelizing zealots. Uh, new contacts, minus uh, 19. That's going away. Xenophobia, minus 20. Materialist fools, minus 20. Infidel unbelievers, minus 100. Closed borders, minus 20. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to come into con uh, conflict eventually. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and get back into it. Uh, how do they show up? Their fleet power is inferior and their technology level is inferior, so that bodes well. Construction project concluded. Okay, we've got our new uh, construction ship. Uh, this one will be the Bacon Friar. And let's see, can I... I can get all of that. Let's go ahead and do so. Okay, they've expanded out there, found a Machine Age civilization. Anomaly found. Uh, this one is easy. Uh, C0909 is home to a number of exqu exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity of one of the larger craters. Uh, I will leave that be for now. Okay, we've got some more Unity. Uh, I'm going to go for the Research Alternatives. Construction project concluded. Excellent. Okay, so they have taken the Xantaris Black Hole. And there is a gateway up here, so let's go ahead and build a starbase here. A faction founded. A uh, new faction has recently been gaining uh, traction in the internal political landscape of the Terrapin Conglomerate. Led by Shellmaster All Dragon, they call themselves the Association of High Technology. Their members have been pushing hard for the advancement of the sciences. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but one that approves of the government's actions could prove useful. Okay, um, let's take a look at our factions. 100% uh, to support. We're not gaining anything from them. Right now they are at 57% happiness. Uh, bleeding Edge. Staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent in tech level will please the Association of High Technology. Um, I assume that does not include fallen empires. Uh, Science Without Borders, signing research treaties with at least three other empires will please the Association of High Technology. And Traditions of Discovery, adopting discovery traditions will please the Association of High Technology. wonder if we'll get more out of that when we finish that. I don't know. Alright, well, we will want to find some more uh, empires that like us enough, so. Uh, we've got the Artisan Troop. Interesting. A visitor! This is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all the other things which make existence bearable to, an, to a sapient being. Please, if you would like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Interesting. Where the heck are they? Ah, they're up here. Okay, tell us more about your troop. We are the Artisan Troop. The troop consists of several stations inhabited by creation, creatives from many worlds, all united in the desire to create new beauty in, the, in these safe havens. They bring their ideas and methods from all around the galaxy, and together we will find the ultimate expression of the self. We provide many services to those who wish to enjoy art. If you help sponsor our work, we might be even be willing to organize larger events for your people. Uh, we want to commission... An art piece, that would be... Well, I can't do that. 3,000 energy credits. Opinion plus 10. Gain access to the art monument with the following planet effects. Unity output plus 8. And migration attraction plus 50%. We cannot afford that. 
Uh, what about uh, Patron? Uh, 1,000 energy credits. Uh, monthly unity plus 10%, and opinion plus 20. Alright, so it's going to be a while before we can take advantage of them, unfortunately. System survey concluded. Alright, uh, let's see. You're growing there, that's okay. I think that I'm going to clear that. Concluded. Ute Satellite. A Ute Satellite was placed in orbit around Akronar 7 to commemorate the, the, the moment of first contact between the Empire and the Jabardini. A contemporary civilization. This event occurred right he here in the Akamar system, and had a profound impact on all levels of Ute society. For over a million years, they had thought themselves alone in the galaxy, and the Ute reacted with both awe and horror upon the discovery of sapient alien life. The searches for Ham has recovered the satellite, which now awaits a full analysis. Remarkable. Situation log updated. One science ship in orbit. Um, you know, I think that uh, getting some more levels out of you is going to be a little bit better. And I want to figure out what's going on up here. Construction project concluded. Okay. We're going to get some border friction with those guys now. Um, Alright, well, for now, let's go ahead and... Where is it? There it is. Build that mining station. We need more energy. Blocker clear. Construction project concluded. Okay. I could go up here. Don't really need to, though. Let's go get the, uh... Yeah, let's go get this four energy down there. That's gonna be pretty crucial. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need to start taking these systems. Ooh. Wow, 14. There's a Savannah world here with uh, an asteroid belt. Yeah, they're now all equivalent. Are we getting border friction? Yep, minus 12. System survey concluded. What would happen if I declared war? I cannot. Vassalize subjugation. Make tributary. Conquer. Humiliate. Construction project concluded. Okay, so now we're positive on energy. Let's go grab that. Depending on what's here, I may not care about what What's going on there? Project concluded. Okay, we are gonna want to go here, I think. The birth of space piracy. Large group of faithless criminals from Chelonis have illegally converted a number of civilian starships into weapons of war. Operating on the fringes of our space in the Kapler system, these heretics have started calling themselves the Dread Sons and are responsible for several attacks against civilian shipping lanes. Their profane activities must not be allowed to continue. Okay, well, I guess that go there goes that idea. Go over here, then. Well, good news is that we uh, caught up to them uh, 
or that they, they ran right into us. Colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. We'll leave it be for now. And we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the sheet system. Ah, the Tianki. We'll wait on that. Unable to build in the Scorpio system. Why? Go in there? I'm not sure what happened there. Striking hostile station. There we go. We'll get some uh, resources out of this at least. Okay, 180 minerals, 100 energy credits. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and repair. Actually, let's head over here and then head back. So I'm not exactly sure why that was canceled yet. I have no concluded. idea. Without incident. Construction project concluded. Ofang 5. Strategic resource discovered. During its survey of Ofang 5, the Cave Carrot discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Aldar Crystals. Chipping these crystals causes the resulting splinter to expand and harden with explosive speed, making it an ideal material for fragmentation matrices in explosive munitions. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Okay, we've got, uh, there's a brand new strategic resource in the game. I'm actually a little bit annoyed that that does not offer a, uh, like that there's, there's no research on that tile like there used to be. Or there, that there is with, uh, other stuff. Hmm... Maybe there will be when we get it? I don't know. Alright, Robin, you're done here. Let's go for the energy there. Cultist Marauders encountered. Evading hostiles. Okay, they're up there. Let's wait until you get repaired. Come back. Uh, go over and survey that. Alright, they have declared a rivalry with us, so let's declare them a rival. Get 0.5 influence, not too shabby. Go ahead and build that outpost. This barren and lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported a biosphere. Okay, it's an easy one. I will leave it be for now. Down here in Ofang. Hard to tell how big the world is, though. Construction project concluded. Okay. We're only getting two energy right now, so I'm a little bit iffy on doing anything else. Um, hmm. Well, actually, uh, let's go grab this, because there's a lot of energy there. That'll help. Construction project concluded. We can go ahead and turn that off. We don't need it on right now. Okay. 
you are done. Let's get the uh, energy credits there. And then build uh, an outpost there. And now we're out of influence. <laughs> Can't quite get down to these guys yet. We'll work on it, though. Strong energy emissions of an unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of its peers in this crowded asteroid field. We will leave it be for now. It's getting pretty quick, though, on some of these. Concluded. System survey concluded without incident. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? We will leave it be for now. And you... Actually, I should rename you to the uh, uh, Colony Drop Strike Force. There we go. Head over there. Uh, there is a pirate base here. If they don't destroy that, I may want to head over there and get that. Um, does it... Is it going to attack us? It is. Okay, let's retreat. Maybe I left you on... the wrong fleet stance? I don't know. Well, now i got to wait until, uh, eh, number of months for you to get back. What does it cost to do an upgrade here? Research concluded. Let's do that, because we are going to need that. All right, capacity overload. Excellent. Uh, let's get the research speed. I do need to get some more science, though. But I need more energy for that. Getting a good amount of unity. Okay, here they come. What are you equipped with? All lasers. Okay, the cultists have been destroyed. Good. Let's go ahead and head home. Actually, you know what? Let's head up there and take their pirate station. I mean, that does mean that they could, uh, um, you know, start expanding out that way. But uh, it also means that uh, I'll get some extra resources out of it. Atmospheric readings from Impan 1 do not match simulated projections. We'll leave it be for now. Uh, you're over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And since this is four, I'm going to grab this as well. Uh, Haley's Eel. Let's go ahead and survey up this way. System survey concluded. Oh. Interesting. I missed what that was. 9.15. Okay, well. In that case, then, why don't you uh, research these anomalies? We'll get back on to doing that. Research concluded. Uh, Ceramo metal materials. Uh, let's go for the engineering facility. Construction project concluded. Okay, Robin, go ahead and build all of those. And we may want to get this world colonized. Plus 
planet has an anomaly. Right. Okay. <laughs> Crap. Um, and when you're done with that, come over here and analyze that anomaly. Construction project complete. These are the Tianki. Might as well uh, investigate them. Yet another cultist fleet loyal to the throne of God has been sighted in the Wolgan system. This time, however, their numbers include a strange ship of an unfamiliar design. Battle, sis uh, battle stations. I'll go ahead and research that. Research that. Uh, right, you're on the wrong stance. That's why. Uh, ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Bartium 4. It is covered in scratch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Searches for Ham managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Okay, you're done over here. I do have 75, so I can move down in here. Let's... Let's go take that out, and then we'll go repair. Uh, and I want a gun battery and a missile battery. Uh, not crew quarters, not resource silo. Tar target uplink computer for weapons range, or... I think the uh, shield hit points minus 20% might be a little bit better. I mean, well, being able to hit them a few times before they can get close might also be good. The problem with the weapons range is that after a little bit, you know, after they close, that's worthless. But let's definitely take that, I guess. It is going to make that an expensive station to maintain, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, you've grown. Let's go ahead and... Do I not have that yet? Right, I don't have that yet. Okay. Then in that case, you go over here, and we will grab the energy grid. And you grow into this spot. Anomaly found. Efforts to map the surface of this planet have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. We'll leave it be for now. Uh, you are done over here. In that case... Let's start researching some anomalies. I mean, you are actually, you know what, um, dang it, can't, can't remove them when they're already researching. I was thinking I should put, uh, um, uh, Eagle Claw on that since he, he'll actually be a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, there we go. Not really liking this symbol here. Uh, it's it's too difficult to notice what's going on. I find. Like I mean, it just it's not clear enough uh, what the level is. Uh, Tianki, uh, spaceborn. Oops. The spaceborn life forms, which the Terrapin head of society research has come to refer to as Tianki are docile creatures, capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients is yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. 
Uh, frequency tuning. Okay, let's get uh, Ashley in charge down here. Survey, survey. Start doing that. Okay, we kind of need to start working on getting some of the uh, the science that's around. So let's build that research station. Build that research station. It's all physics research. We'll just go start building these uh, mining stations as well. There we go. System survey concluded. Horizons expanded. All right, we'll keep uh, exploring around. Special project concluded. Construction project complete. Ancient mining drones. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous mining operation. Established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, their purp uh, judging oh, judging by the state of their processing equipment. Their purpose is obvious enough. Mining. But who it is that tasked them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipments of minerals have been retrieved from this system in hundreds if not thousands of years. They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Terrapin conglomerate. Uh, establish a listening post on Chelonis. Situation log updated. Crashed. Scout craft. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship uh, hasn't been picked clean by looters yet. We will study its design. 60 engineering research. And let's take a look at our drone study. Finishes in 54 months? Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh -huh. that is not happening right now. Not, not gonna happen. Um, I do not have the influence to do anything about this system. Uh, let's go ahead and get the observation post, though. And uh, I think that's where we'll call this episode. When we come back next time, we will uh, lock in some of this stuff and hopefully uh, get Kapler... Um, begin uh, colonizing Kapler. So, I will uh, see you guys next time.